Hey, what's up babes? We are back at it again with another video. Welcome or welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the yummiest, the best foundations of 2021. If you are ready for today's video, keep on watching. Mwah. today's video you already know the drill i would love for you to be part of the steffi glam r us fam so go down below and click the little red button so you can become part of it i'm so excited that i'm about to show you all the foundations that i've been loving these foundations were more like love at first sight i bought them i tried them i word test them and i immediately knew that i was going to love them i found myself rotating throughout all these foundations if i wasn't using this one i was using the other one but it was always this if you know me and you've been watching my videos, I'm pretty sure you know what I have right here in front of me because I stay pretty consistent. If I tell you I like it, I like it. And if I like it, I use it. They are in no particular order. The love that I have for these foundations and skin tints, it's real. I think I have like 10 or 11. I'm gonna start with this one from Tom Ford. This is the shade and Illuminate. It's $150 and this is like my one and only. It got SPF 50. That sounds great. This to me is like a tinted moisturizer that you can build up to a nice medium base. It is what I have on me right now and this immediately airbrushed my face and it makes my skin look so flawless. Look at that what i've been using for special occasions or when i don't know what foundation to put on this is what i always grab because i know it's not gonna leave me hanging at the end of the day it's not gonna get cakey it's not gonna break it's not gonna dry out my skin you do have to prep your skin before foundation but you don't have to do a lot of prepping with this foundation this foundation is really really hydrating and it's going to keep your face juicy and hydrated all day long very long lasting if you have dry skin this is going to be heaven for you this is just that one foundation that to be honest with you it looks better or the same at the end of the day like you have no worries my shade on this one it is 5.7 doomed and it looks good all year around no this is pricey but trust me it's worth it especially if you're the type that you don't have 100 foundations you should definitely consider picking this up this is gonna be like that one and only foundation that you're ever gonna need you can wear really soft and sure it out for more of a natural color coverage to just even on your complexion or you can really build it up to a nice solid medium coverage almost full that look it covered everything all my hyperpigmentation all the little marks that i have on my face this is chef kiss the valentino foundation this is 64 dollars and this is so good the foundation that looks good on all skin types i already tried it out on oily skin on dry skin and on normal skin and it looks flawless i love the fact that it's not too glowy but it's not too matte neither if you're oily it's not gonna get greasy at the end of the day you're not gonna be slipping and sliding Ugh, that's so gross but if you have dry skin this is gonna glide on your skin so smoothly it's not full coverage but it's not a light coverage neither it is buildable so you can customize it to whatever you want long lasting for real and it's going to look beautiful at the end of the day it's really lightweight and this is a second skin and if you have a neutral undertone this it's spot on the shade that i use it's mn3 and i love love the neutral undertone that this foundation have we know how hard it is to find a foundation with a truly neutral undertone looking for something similar when it comes to the formulation but a little bit less expensive this one from Burberry, it is $55 and this is pure gold. This one have a bit more coverage than this one from Valentino and it's also a little bit more matte by a hair. But this one has skincare on it. It got hyaluronic acid and viola extract that plumps the skin and smooth things out. This keeps your skin nice and hydrated for about eight to 10 hours. And most of the foundations that I'm showing you have a pump. I love my foundations with a pump. It gets to my last nerve when I use a foundation that doesn't have a pump. And now that I have both of them right here in front of me, and I was talking to you about the neutral undertone that this foundation from Valentino have, both of them, they have a neutral undertones. But look how different they are. This one is the one from Valentino. 
And then this one is the one from Burberry. You see how the shades look very similar, especially when you let them sit and they dry down a little bit, but peep the shades. Like the undertone of this foundation from Valentino, it is straight up neutral. This one, it's also neutral, the one from Burberry, but you see how that one, it's leaning orangey, and that's what we are used to seeing. Neutral leaning goldy, neutral leaning orangey, not really a neutral, neutral undertone like this one. Like, I blend this on my skin, and it completely disappears. Now we have this one from Givenchy. It is $49, and this to me, it's more like a tinted skincare. This one is a little bit more liquidy than the one from Burberry and Valentino. See how the consistency is runny. It's lighter. But this is fresh. This feels so yummy on the skin. Look at that radiancy. Like, look at that glow. I love the way that this smooths out the skin. It blends super easy. It makes the skin look glowy, but not shiny, greasy, sparkly at all. This is extremely lightweight and it's super, super comfortable on the skin. Like I can't even explain you the way the skin feels with this foundation. Obviously, if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, this is not gonna be it. But if you don't really care about the full coverage and you want something more comfortable, I love the way that this covers discoloration, it plumps the skin, it makes the skin look healthy. Look at the difference between hands. It's glowy, but at the same time, it looks powdery. It doesn't clog pores and it minimizes the look of pores. It does have a scent, but it smells bougie. It smells rich. This is just an easy foundation. It's easy to use easy to apply easy to blend one of the best full coverage foundation that i tried this year it is definitely this one from huda beauty and my shade on this one it is 4 and 280 it's a luminous matte full coverage foundation and it's 40 dollars change the formula and let me tell you that she killed it she knocked it right off the park this one it is fragrance free the other one had a really strong smell that people used to hate the foundation it's full coverage it's matte but at the same time it has the perfect amount of glow it is everything to me it is the perfect full coverage foundation for dry skin it makes your skin look matte but healthy fear when it comes to full coverage foundation it is always the thickness that is gonna look too makeupy that is gonna be too heavy that is not the case with this baby this is just a beautiful full coverage foundation that is gonna look flawless at the end of the day it is a little bit on the thicker side but it's not too thick and too heavy like most of the full coverage foundations what i like the most about it is that even though it is a bit thick when you apply it and you blend it on the skin, I like to use a brush, always a brush. You're going to do little tapping motions, always tapping, 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 tapping. And look how beautiful it blends on the skin. See that? That's what I do. Tapping motions and look at this. Do you see the nice light luminosity? But at the same time, it's matte. It got full coverage. Oh, yummy. And the shade I have, it is Toasted Coconut 240N. Oh my God. And the best thick foundation, it is also from Huda Beauty. And here you have it. This foundation, it is the perfect foundation for people that doesn't wear or like foundation. Does that make sense? This is $39 and this is just something else. Like, it's a pleasure to put this on. It's so satisfying the way that this glides on the skin. This is the same shade, Toasted Coconut 240N. And this is just so creamy and so buttery. Like, look at that. You can even see it on my skin. Like, it's right there. You see that? Mm. It's more than lightweight and you customize the coverage so you wear this depending on what you want, how you're feeling. Let me tell you that if you really want full coverage out of this, just build it up, it's going to give it to you. It doesn't matter how much you put on, it will never get cakey. A beautiful natural skin like finish and I use this as all over foundation, as spot conceal, to correct. This is good for everything. Every time I travel, this is what I always want to bring and if you are the type that you like to fix your makeup throughout the day you need this you need this 
You need this in your life. Now, don't like to set your face with powder and you have dry skin, this foundation from Lotless, it is dope AF. It is $39. It's clean, light, soft, easy to apply, long wear. It claims to be full coverage, but I don't think so. I will say it's more of a nice, solid, medium coverage. This is really self-setting. Like, you're gonna apply, you're gonna blend it. It does give you a little room to play, to add, take away, fix, whatever you wanna do. But after everything is said and done, three five minutes is going to pass by and your foundation is going to be completely dry like if you set it with powder it's crazy i was impressed because you know there's a lot of foundations that they be like claiming they're self-setting that you don't need powder this and that but they're full of shit not this baby not this I like this because it's fast like this is a foundation that does save us time so if that's your excuse why you're not wearing any makeup buy something like this something that all you have to do is just apply it on your face blend it and you're out the door i do think that the shades and the undertones they're all over the place this one is shade tawny and it is leaning a little bit more golden than neltra it's supposed to be a neltra golden undertone but it looks crazy and scary right here but once you have it all blent out in the skin it doesn't look that crazy at all and this is just a really natural foundation and it's gonna give you a matte powdery finish moving on to skin tint because y'all yeah, know i love me a good skin tint we have this one from fenty beauty it is 30 dollars, and this it's really blurry. i love to apply this and look at myself in the mirror and pay close attention to my pore area because they look so much smaller when i put this on like this blurs them out to the max this is like better than a second skin because it minimizes your pores it is super lightweight super comfortable and it's just easy to blend look how powdery it looks and it got more coverage than other skin tints this skin tint from ysl it is 38 dollars and this really looks like skin like this is not going to give you more glow it's not going to make your skin look mad it's going to exhale your natural glow and it's gonna even on your complexion without changing anything the shades are a little bit complicated i went through like three different shades before i picked this one but this one is shade number 10 i do like how this one looks is the one that looked the best on me but this is fresh this is dewy this is skin and this is you don't feel it i'm even blending it on my hand and it feels like nothing like nothing light to medium coverage and the best part of this is that it have hyaluronic acid yes yeah i know how good hyaluronic acid is for the skin this is just delicious and last but not least we have the sunny days Tinted Sunscreen SPF 30. This baby, it is $30. And it doesn't smell like mineral sunscreen. How nice that is. Because with SPF 30, I was expecting it to stink. But no, it doesn't stink. I love so much the applicator. It reminds me of the Bright Fix from Fenty. And this is the shade 25 Ocean Park. It have a light medium coverage, but it does cover a good amount. And this is just so fresh. Look at this beautiful natural finish. The shade, it is perfect for my skin complexion. And this is saved for sensitive skin. I do think that this is the perfect sunscreen for the summer. So you better off just buying it already and have it with you. Why not? The formulation is not too greasy. It's not too dewy, not too oily. It's like right on the spot. It's not only perfect for summer though, to be honest with you. Because since this came out, I've been wearing it nonstop. I know y'all saw me in a couple of videos putting this baby on. All right, so I got everything covered. Those are my thoughts of the best foundations of 2021. Of course, I'm still loving my other foundations. I'm just not using them as much as I'm using these ones. I definitely do think that things are changing a little bit when it have to do with the foundation trend. Back in the days, things needed to be really heavy, makeup -y like extra full coverage to the point that it needed to look like super flawless 
almost fake nowadays everything is a little bit more lightweight more comfortable more skin like natural and i definitely think that's the way to go so even if you have scaring acne hyperpigmentation imperfections in your face you can still wear a natural skin like foundation and it's going to make you look popping way better than a heavy makeupy foundation but don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below which ones are your favorite foundations of 2021 i really really want to know which ones are those foundations that you were using non-stop this year let me know be in the lookout i have a couple of videos in my schedule that i want to pull out before the year's done like the best concealers of 2021 best bronzers etc and i also have a bunch of lipsticks that i didn't even try i didn't even open them so i want to do like this lipsticks that i didn't try in 2021 and i also order a bunch of shit from sephora a few days ago i'm waiting for them i should be getting them tomorrow the next day and i want to do a video like my last new makeup of 2021 showing you guys what i got but we are done with this video thank you again for another great video i love you all so damn much to the moon and back and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet i hope now you are considering subscribing and staying with me forever and ever so go down below and click the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on so youtube can notify you every time i upload new video Mwah! see you on the next one